Hi everyone, welcome to Thought for the Day. You know, um, I was, uh, as I was, I've uh, been doing some work behind the scenes and, you know, writing and, and uh, working on uh, Heart Reset for Revival. God's giving me some fresh thoughts. So I'm revising that just a bit and trying to get it ready uh, to begin to tape that. And then I start, you know, thinking about for today as uh, for the broadcast and nothing was connecting, you know, nothing was just, you know, and uh, usually, you know, doing my devotionals and I've got some other materials that I'm reading that, you know, will always stir something up. But for some reason, nothing was connecting. I, and I was just, gosh, I'm saying, wow, what is going on? So I went, I had to go on Facebook to check on something and, um, and someone put a little clip of an 86 year old man that six months earlier had lost his wife you know and um, he of course was feeling depressed and hopelessness and and feeling alone and would go to the graveside you know every week and, and it just was just really hard for him so it was like he was just going home just to wait to die basically and uh, until one day he had to go grocery shopping and he hated going grocery shopping and and I guess you know he said you could see it on his face and he would just be a grumpy old man going to the store <laughs> so anyway he's walking down towards the end of the canned goods of the aisle of that aisle and around the corner comes a woman and her four-year-old daughter and um, the little girl reaches out to him and says hey hey Hey, old man or old person, <laughs> I don't know what she said, but that's what she said. It's my birthday today. And she said, can I have a birthday hug? You know, so, you know, he said, sure, okay, and gave her a birthday hug. You know, that one little act, he said, changed his entire life that very moment. It said that everything that he was feeling just melted away. In an instant, it melted away. Just that one little, that act of love and kindness and just genuine you know love and he said the depression and everything just started melting away and it, it just brought such a joy and a smile to him that he was kind of surprised by it and so the little girl said mommy mommy take a picture of me and my new friend you know and so anyway the mother said that when they got home the little girl pasted that picture of her and her new friend on the little photo album and she said she would have that with her all the time and she would fall asleep with the picture of her and her new friend well that sparked a relationship that the little girl is now visiting the gentleman once a week go spends time with him and and every time she comes in there's that big hug that she gives him I thought it was just so touching you know so complete strangers and yet, that's just, that's something that God created was love. And I'm thinking, and I, and it connected with me. And I said, and the Lord began to speak to me in my heart and said, See, Joel, there are many right now that have this new year, but, but may be standing alone in this new year. And this new journey is going to be a lonely journey, or they, it may seem to them it's going to be lonely. So, so I want to speak to some of you that maybe this is a new year. Maybe, maybe you had a devastation of loss like this gentleman did. And here's a new year that you will literally start on your own by yourself. But you know, God's never too far that he can't reach you <laughs> with his love, you know. And there are many things that a lot of us go through, adversities and maybe stresses, that we hold on the inside even though we've got family and friends around us yet we feel alone yet maybe at times we we feel that maybe they don't under, they would understand what you're feeling and so you feel alone you know and so you feel like you're between a rock and a hard place and that's what i'm calling this thought for the day and so i want to just read a couple of scriptures and just i want you to just listen you know, we've been talking about smallness, right? We talked about the yet, the letter that's just as small as a dot, but it's a letter, but it's very significant, right? That it it begins 
with the greatest and most sacred names of God. Uh, and saying that, I want to make a correction because I in that so I, in that uh, video I said that uh, I said that Yat Yeshua God, but it was actually Yavah, uh, Y H V H, and not Yeshua. I was thinking Yeshua, but it wasn't. It was Yavah, which means I am. Okay, so I just want to make that correction. But in any case. You know, it only takes something small to create something greater. Amen. You know, and and also we talked about Isaiah where it says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. It springs forth. Do you perceive it and do you not know it? We talked about setting our mind. And you know, I just want you to listen to this and I want you to reset your mind on what you're going to listen to right now. I want to read a couple scriptures and I want you to take it to heart because this is the heart of God when it comes to those he loves. And you're not alone. And when you think that no one can maybe reach you at that place, God can. <laughs> because he's a, he's a supernatural God that we serve. Amen. So let me read the first scripture, and you've heard this before. It's found in Deuteronomy 31.8, and it says this. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. And a lot of you are in that place, feeling that you're between a rock and a hard place, feeling that you're unreachable maybe right now. And... So I want to read this second scripture, and I want you to really listen to this. I'm reading this out of the Message Bible, and I really love the interpretation. And this is found in Isaiah 43, verses two through, oh, verses one through five. Okay, and it says here, "Don't be afraid. I've redeemed you. I've called your name. You're mine. When you're in over your head, I'll be there with you." When you're in a rough when you're in rough waters, you will you will not go down. When you're between a rock and a hard place, it won't be a dead end. Amen. Because I am God, your personal God. The holy of Israel, your Savior, I paid a huge price for you. All of Egypt and all its treasures. That's how much you mean to me. That's how much I love you. I'd sell off the whole world to get you back. Trade the creation just for you. So don't be afraid. I am with you. That's God, our great I am. Know that you're not alone. Know that he can reach you. He's not too far. And if he's got to send a, uh, a child to, to prove that to you, just like he did with this gentleman. Trust me, you know, like this gentleman said, she's an angel that was God sent. God will send his messenger of love and he'll send you his love. <laughs> He's like that little girl. He will come and he will hold you and he will hug you like no one's business. So I hope that's encouraging you. You're not alone. God is with you. So let, let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. Well, that's my thought of the day. God bless. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.